Hey, you want to say hi? All right, guys. So, um, confession. Today is Wednesday. I have not done Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday's <laughs> cluttering. So, I'm going to do it all today. And um, I'm just just do real quick. If it's something that I think is going to take too long, I'm going to move on to something else. Hi, guys. In this week's episode of Tiny Tidy Tuesday, I'm continuing to do the 30-day decluttering challenge, which is put together by Denise at This and That with Denise Jordan. So in this week's video, I will be doing days 7 through 13. If you are new to my channel, my name is Michelle, and this is my everyday wife life. Okay, so in, for Denise, she posted that books is her... Um, thing for day seven but i don't have any books <laughs> this is all i have literally this is all the books i have i am not a reader i'm just gonna i'm going through this too and i didn't realize i had um i had uh tissues in here and that's where i was storing tissues and this is an iphone box anyway may i think i'm um, instead of decluttering um books i'm just gonna clean out my bedside table i don't know that i'm going to get rid of anything like, uh so i'm just gonna clean it out i think it needs wiped out too so sometimes decluttering doesn't mean actually getting rid of something just maybe sh straighten it up and zhuzhing it putting things back where they belong if they don't belong and um i don't know what that is either what is that <laughs> Anyway, so before, all right, so these are, all, let me go back. These are the only books I have. I don't even know that I want these. These are the only books that I have. I'm not, I, again, I'm not a reader. I do have a bunch of children's book, but I'm not decluttering those today. They are in the guest room. And um, uh, I th literally thought I only had two. Um. And yeah, that's off limits for right now until the sun moves out. And I do have some in the garage and I will declutter um, those when I do my garage series. Which, um, if you're interested, I'll put a link down below. I do uh, a video a month on what I got done in the garage. So, um, it's an ongoing series. The Great Garage to Clutter. So, that's why I'm doing more simpler things in this even though... Um, they are for uh, some of the things that Denise is proposing is a little more complicated. But like the pantry, I already did the pantry. So, yeah, I don't need to do that. Julia and Ju uh, I want to read that book too. That's like one of my favorite um, movies. The other one would be that I read, but I don't have it anymore. It's The Deep End of the Ocean. That was a good, a good read. So that's going. Whether it's donate or back to sister, this is what I have so far. I am keeping all this stuff. I don't know what this goes to, but until I figure out what it goes to, um, <laughs> that makes no sense. Whatever. I'm not doing the drawer today because I don't want to. This is my mom's. I don't I don't need it. I'm not using it. I don't need it. So let's talk about the lotion that I deflected the other day. Mm hmm So, um, like the drawer. Uh let's see if I can get rid of some some of this at least. It's ridiculous. It's old. I mean, some of it's probably old, but does it lotion have an expiration date? So let's divide it into not great lotion and okay. So first of all, there's like hardly anything left of this. Ew, that sounds like really liquidy. All right, that can go. Uh, anyway, I guess I'm just going to um, apparently just get rid of three. <laughs> yeah, I have really dry skin. <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, not. I, anyway, I'm getting rid of three. Good enough. Um, no, oh, that's what I'm getting rid of. So that's good enough. Yes, I could get rid of more, but I'm not. And apparently, I'm gonna keep this iPhone box because I can. 
All right, let me tell you a few things that I'm dealing with with my decluttering these days. So I have room now, but, and you know, Danny, uh, who is it? Dana K. White says, you know, only keep what you can fit in the container. And I'm saying in the container nicely. Obviously, this is fitting nicely. I can, and my goal is to keep only what I can see at a glance. I don't want things behind everything. And, and like, you know, I don't want things behind the tissues because I won't remember that it's there. So that's good. But just because I have room, should I keep it? Probably not. But for now, I'm going to. I'm saying win-win because I'm getting rid of stuff. There you go. That's trash. Donate the book back to my sister. Okay, so day 10 is tools. Um, the tool bunch... Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's something hubby and I have to do together. And um, I'm not touching his tools. <laughs> even though I use them. But I can clean out my tool bag. Real quick. I think I did do this recently. I actually think hubby did. So there's like three hammers in here. You don't need to be. I can put those back in the garage. And why is there a ribbon? What is that? What is that? Um, this is something I got a long time ago. And I do have a screwdriver that's in the kitchen that should go in here. Um, I don't know why that ribbon's in there. So I'm going to just rifle through this real quick. Um, and I have stuff like on the sides and stuff. Like I said, I think that was cleaned out a while ago. Uh, I could put that back in the craft room but you know what they should i remember i put all the command hooks in there in my craft room the other day from the junk tour they really should be in here i forget that i have them there anyway uh i have like screws and stuff so i don't have to go in the garage and get some stuff i don't think there's i'm gonna just go through it real quick definitely put i don't know if there's anything to get rid of just clean it out so i'm gonna put those in the garage and just keep the one little hammer. Alright, again, mostly I cleaned it up and stuff. I just don't need to keep all this all this stuff. Just mostly little nails if I want to hang a, a picture. If it's something major, then... I'm... Anyway, when we do stuff, I bring my two bench into the area that we're doing stuff. And stuff just gets thrown in here. But anyway, that's all I need. I don't need... Oh, screw one in there. Um, I don't need that. That needs to go in the sewing box because there is a measuring tape in there. And, um, uh, yeah, that's pretty cleaned up. So I'll put that in my craft room. Now that I, all that stuff is put back, we're on to day nine, which is electrical cords and electronics. And I have them stored in my kitchen desk here. Um, I used to have baking stuff in here and all this was in a smaller drawer. It's all nice and neat and organized. I'll have to say some of those cords, I don't know where they go to. I have to go over that with hubby. And I, yeah, I have two iPhones and an iPad in here that I don't really use, but I'm using it for storage. Um, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. I do end up getting rid of some garbage in here, just papers and stuff that I don't need to keep. And I just judge everything a little bit. And I was going to get rid of these headphones, but I decided to um, keep them for when we go on trips for the airplane. So I have a set of headphones that will work with, you know, the back of the seat where you plug in the thing and you watch the movie <laughs> anyway. So that's garbage. Okay, on to day 10, which is the refrigerator. If you remember from last week when I did the pantry, I didn't do the pantry because 
I already majorly did the pantry a couple months ago in a Tiny Tidy Tuesday. So I am just going to do just this one drawer. That's how I like to do the refrigerator now. I hardly ever clean out the whole refrige anymore. I just do one drawer, one shelf at a time. You know, that's my motto. So um, I'm just gonna clean out the veggie drawer here and um, get it all organized. Oh, don't forget, Tiny Tidy Tuesdays is brought to you by Sunday Dawn at The Helpful Home. She is our gracious host, and a bunch of us have gotten together on Tuesdays to do a Tiny Tidy, whether that be decluttering or tiny tidying, cleaning a tiny space in your home. We can do this together. If when you're done watching my video, you're going to want to click the playlist down below in the description. Also, I post that down in the comments and pin it at the top so you can click that too but sometimes maybe you want to check out the description and let me know in the comments below what you have tiny tiny this week and if you don't want to leave a comment just leave me a little purple heart emoji so i know you're here and i can say hi throwing all this kale away yeah it went bad and uh on to day 11 jewelry all right day 12 is the jewelry cabinet but it is early in the morning i'm going to in order to do my jewelry cabinet i can't do it in this mess and i suggest maybe you do that first don't try to do something like that when you your space is a mess but maybe that's what's stifling you too so get your mess cleaned up. <laughs> I'm going to clean up this little spot before I get into the jewelry cabinet. Yeah, I've been progressing on that forever. But don't get your hopes up. I'm not doing the whole entire thing. I'm just going to do a couple drawers because this 30 day challenge is not leaving me time to uh, do like a whole project. That, yeah, this is a project. All right, now that that space is nice and neat and tidy, I can concentrate on doing that. I cannot declutter in a messy space. If you have, I don't know, I, what works for one person doesn't work for the other, but if you are have a lot of clutter, I would suggest if you're wanting to work in one room, bigger than doing stuff like this, and there's stuff everywhere. I would suggest getting, I know some people are going to say, no, that's not a good idea. Just deal with it to first. <laughs> is to put, is to clear your floor space. Make it at least a little neat and tidy and put stuff in a box and then stack it in the corner and then pull the one box out at a time because I don't know. I can't declutter and that's why I'm having trouble with the garage because <laughs> I can't declutter in a messy space. And it's like relentless. So I have to clean it up first. And then after I clean it up, I'm too tired to go ahead and declutter. Oh, it's never any baddies. So anyway, battle. So uh, my jewelry cabinet, I had been procrastinating for a very long time. I did buy this because I wanted to, I was thinking about getting rid of this. Now I think I'm changing my mind. I might want to use it as a keepsake cabinet. So I bought this to put my favorite pieces in that I do want to keep and that's where halted um yeah that was a while ago so these are I do believe stuff I want to keep I might want to go through that again like yeah like seriously I am not going to wear these all right before I before I go and this is a picture of hubby and I when we were dating barely see us but I like that picture um dating 42 years ago yes I'm old <laughs> all right so before I do anything else I yeah I'm not gonna wear those this I think I'm missing the other one uh you know I actually don't like gold anymore I don't actually see myself wearing those. So, I do like these. I do like these. 
maybe I'll just go through this off camera and then otherwise it's going to take too long and I need to make a compilation video so I'll just show you what out of this I got rid of is this is the that lift up oh yep and the, oh, all this stuff that's in here too which I totally forgot about yeah. Okay, All right, this might be all I do. <laughs> yeah, but maybe the start of it. So, um, yeah. So, this is all the stuff I'm getting rid of. I, all these little things were in there. I don't even know what they are. I don't think those are earrings. I think they're charm necklace things. I have to ask my, sis my sister. They might have been my mom's. For some reason, I kept them. But I don't need the box. Um, so there's that. And then these, I'll probably never wear. But my girlfriend from high school, we still keep in touch. My best friend. Um, she made these. So she made all these earrings and stuff. And um, I probably won't wear them. But, but she made them. So I want to keep them. And then I have a bunch of watches. Don't know. I don't wear them anymore. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And then that's a picture of my son when he was a month old. Yeah, he was a big baby, nine pounder. And then this is a uh, from my sister. She gave that to me when she went on a trip to, uh, I think maybe they went on a cruise or something. Uh, anyway, so I'm keeping all this is the key to this. This needs to be fixed, but I want to keep it. I like that little box. I only have like two necklaces here, and then yeah, these are ones that um, hubby gave me. I do have a whole bunch up there. Uh, I might do something with that. Anyway, so they go in the little pocket. And then these are all, this is my mom's ring. And then I'm keeping all of these earrings. But I do tend to end up wearing the same thing. I'm wondering if these are my mom's too. Because she just liked butterflies. She loved butterflies. And there's, wait. What? There's another. What does that go to? I can't even see. Oh, that goes. You know, I lost, it goes to this necklace. And I lost the other earring too. And this is broken, but apparently I'm going to keep it because uh, I'm weird. Anyway, so, and then these are all necklace extenders because I, um, I need to buy necklace extenders. None of the necklaces I ever buy are long enough. Um, I'm sure that's what this was. And I think I ended up buying a longer, um, this would be like a choker for me. <laughs> uh, another necklace because I liked what it was on I'm guessing anyway I can get rid of that these are on the fence because if I get some silver polish I could clean those up and these are missing pieces but I might be able to find them when I clean out the rest of my jewelry cabinet so guess what <laughs> I think I don't know I think that so all this is get I'm getting rid of all this stuff. So um this I don't need this bracelet. I never wear it. So uh yeah. Anyway, I think that's I think I am that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Um keep that there. Or not. So every time I open it I can see it because it's you know, it's not a great picture. Um, so I think I will condense all this to all fit in here. That was the original plan. And then use this for, look, this is uh, righty ready, fine. I don't need all these little boxes and stuff. One more, one more thing. Um, uh, let me just condense. That is from my grandfather's um, when he passed away in 1976. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Well, yeah, I'm old. Anyway, so I think I have more of those. My grandmother's, maybe. Um, this is my mom's father. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's do two more drawers. Okay, this, actually, I realize is an eyeglass thing. So is this, to keep them around your neck. But I have to wear my glasses 24-7 now, so that's not even a thing. <laughs> I condensed this one or the two to one and then I pulled out another box let me go through that and I, I think it's all I don't I don't need any of it I got rid of some more stuff I don't see myself wearing any of those I did keep these three things but all that nonsense can go and that can be for keepsakes and that's good enough uh, I will do the rest on another day if Denise does um Something that I've already done, then I can come back to the jewelry cabinet. So if you're, if you've had enough, you've had enough. Just stop and go back to another thing. One drawer at a time, right? I, how many I do? I did three drawers plus the thing, right? I did three drawers. This drawer does not open because this lifts up and there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> One, two, three. And then. Oh my goodness. Just. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is practically empty. I don't know. I, yeah. Yeah, it gets more stuff down here. Anyway, um. Yeah, I have other things to do today. That's it for today. Uh, what? Those are not two toys. <laughs> Give me that. That's not a chew toy. They are totally interested now. Now I have to figure out what's donate and what is um, throw away. I did box up some stuff. And maybe that's how I'll donate that to Goodwill. Yeah. And now I'm starting to debate about these. Because they are really nice earrings. Yeah, I can keep them. Oh, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> it carried off one of my earrings. And then he came up on the bed and dropped out his mouth. All right, so clean that up. So this is all garbage. This is not even worth donating. Um, donate, and then I boxed up some of this stuff. There's like three pairs of earrings in here. So then, you know, I always feel bad taking stuff to Goodwill and just in a random bin box and not... I feel like I should individualize stuff in plastic bags, especially stuff like this. Like, all right. Anyway, that's donate. Okay, so why was I procrastinating that? It wasn't as hard as I thought. And uh, I can go back to it another day and finish the rest. Right, so day 12 is paperwork that maybe is in your office. The paperwork that Denise Jordan uh, for her clothing challenge the first time was just overflowing paperwork which I didn't really have, but I had already previously done that in another video, which accumulates on my kitchen desk. Anyway, so um, I didn't realize that she was doing that today. So, because I haven't really been looking at the list. I just wanted to be surprised, I guess. <laughs> I now looked at the list. I have to sign up for her email in order to get the list. Anyway, um, so yesterday, I just quickly came in here, and so I had two bins, that bin, and this bin, full of paperwork, and I condensed it to the one bin, just so I could, uh, I wanted to give that bin to my sister, she needed it for something, so it's kind of squished in here, and look at this thing has totally been misshapen, and I probably am not, I'm just going to show you maybe... I don't know, before and after, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I want to say this, this is probably stemming from when I did a 30 bags and 30s days um, with Sophia, my great challenge, and D from D Lovely Life um, years ago, 
and I can remember doing it and I had a table set up in my library and I just was going to go at it and get through it, all of it. And then at some point I just got overwhelmed and I threw the rest of it in, in a bin and uh, I believe that's what this is. It's been hiding in my craft room and now that my son lives with us, um, not my craft room, I've been hiding in my guest room. And now that my son and Boomerang back home, I uh, wanted to clear up some space on him and I put this in my craft room recently. And yeah, it's time to deal with that. So it should, it, it, I'm sure it's all going to go. It is old paperwork from, I don't even know. Oof. So yeah. I'll take a picture and show you before and after. I'm actually going to get the other bin and bring it over here and go through it and throw it in the other bin of what I don't, I want, need to keep. Um, I do try to keep, I know it's excessive. I might reduce like 10 years worth of stuff, but that's just tax. So whatever... So taxes. So whatever I have to um, have for taxes, I think I already have 10 years worth. Yeah. Whatever I have to have to tax. So when, when I do my taxes, I get a Ziploc bag and put everything that I need for the taxes in that Ziploc bag. And then what is that? I don't know. I don't think I'm doing that today. I'm just going to concentrate on that one bin. It, I put it in a Ziploc bag and then I label it. And I'm pretty sure that's all I need to keep. Now, um, important papers are in here, like our uh, the title for the truck, uh, birth certificates and stuff like that. That I know that's not in there, so I already have that. And tell you, and tell you what, don't don't panic if you can't find your birth certificate. You can get another one. You just have to do the process because I had to do that for my son recently, um, and they sent us a new birth certificate. So yeah, see, this is 2012. I can actually get rid of that, but I'm wanting to put it back because I'm not doing that today. Yeah, because I'm only going to keep from 2013 to 2023. So, I don't know. I might surprise you and do that too. But mainly I want to focus on that. And for this challenge, um, don't, like, you know, it says paperwork. It doesn't mean you have to do it all. <laughs> like, there's definitely more paperwork. I should just leave that alone. Just concentrate on this one thing. Um... And like I did my jewelry, I didn't do the whole cabinet because you're decluttering every day. If you're not decluttering every day, if you're just doing the tiny, tiny Tuesday and decluttering once a week, you will declutter 52 spaces a year. I have a list, a printable list, a checklist that you can check off. You will have done 52 spaces. Now that I could have done my whole jewelry cabinet if that was all I was decluttering. But since I'm decluttering every day and this video is going to be too long... Because it's supposed to be a tiny, tiny Tuesday. <laughs> and I'll shut up now and I'm going to go through this stuff. Yeah. I do have to say, and I don't know how many years this has been in here. I want to say five. In those five years, I've never had to dig in here for something. So, likely everything can go. Okay, so this is tax stuff from 2011. I can get rid of that. Uh, also, yeah. I'm looking through this. Um, a lot has changed. I, I still... First of all, I am going through all of it. Even though I know everything in there can go. I just feel the need to look at it. I am throwing it away. But, I'm um, like, I have made progress here. First of all, I have done paperless. Because if there's anything I need, I can go to those accounts and print it out if I need it for tax purposes or for anything else. Yeah, I can print that out. So I don't, I have done that mostly except for my medical. I do get that mailed. Other than that, I think that's it. So I used to keep every single electric bill and all that kind of stuff. That's what's in here. 
I don't need to do that. Yeah, that's not necessary. So don't and do I've that. tried every system known to man. I've tried the binder system. Like this was, I kept everything in a binder. I did, I don't know. <laughs> this is a different kind of binder than I, I started over here. Uh, where it had like, this is upside down, but it had my medical in this fold. I just, in one folder, and then uh, auto in another folder, and all that kind of stuff. I just didn't keep up with it. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, and here I have a, this was a budget planner yeah, binder. Yeah, that didn't work. It had like little sheets of paper. Uh, I bought something double O. This is from Green Child Magazine. If you sign up for their newsletter, they have printables like this. It's a little different now. Um, but you can, yeah, and I was doing that. I don't know. I just bought a budget planner off of Amazon. Sometimes I use it. Sometimes I don't. Anyway, I'm just throwing okay, it Okay, so I did come across, like, paperwork from 2015. Uh, but I don't need it. Because, what did I say? I put everything I needed for taxes... In a Ziploc bag. I know. I kind of doing the Casper and Cutterblog thing. Just put it in a bin, and then when you for the year, and then when tax time comes, you go through and keep what you need and throw away the rest. That's kind of what I'm doing. So um, I don't need this. I already got the stuff I needed for, and hundred percent of the time so far, I've not need medical for taxes because I can never I write it off. I find a binder of vacation stuff, but it's just like brochures and stuff. I, I don't know. Do I need to do it for like keepsake? I don't need to do anything thing, but I'm putting that. I did this, but this got totally misshapen. I guess I'll maybe, I don't know. Do I donate these binders? These probably should just trash. Nobody wants those. That's 2007. Yeah. So uh, another attempt to uh, organize all my stuff for my business. Yeah. <clears throat> Failed. I, I did not finish. Because, yeah, I have other stuff to do. So, I did quite a bit. I'll finish that another day. So, all this stuff is keep that has to do with the house. That needs to be shredded, and then that's all garbage. Okay, not bad. I got rid of, like, half. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'll go back to that another day. Okay, moving on to day 13, which is the coffee table. Not a whole lot to do here because I don't have drawers and things on my coffee table. It does get messy on a daily basis, but that's a whole other thing. So I am going to judge my planner basket. And I'm just taking everything out and decluttering it, getting the garbage out of that. I sit on the couch to do my daily list in my notebook. I don't really use a planner. I don't know why I was calling it a planner. It's really just a notebook. But I'm going through all the pens and seeing which ones work. I think I end up only finding one that doesn't work, so I throw that away. But these Sharpies, I don't need those on a daily basis. It's just something I grabbed one day and it ended up in the bin or in the basket. So I put that back in the craft room and then I keep some lotion and a hairbrush and stuff in here to uh, do my um, nails and stuff and my feet and whatnot. So anyway, I cleaned up that and threw some garbage away and put some things back where they belong. Decided to keep some pens in the junk drawer, utility drawer, excuse me. And then here is my other planner bag. And I decide, you know what? I'm going to condense some things. I'm not using anything in that bag right now. So I'm going to fix that up. So I am putting all of the uh, personal care stuff in this little basket. And I'm going to keep that on my kitchen desk. And this other basket um, I got off of Amazon. I thought it was way bigger than that. It wasn't. Anyway, I'm just going to hang it there for now until I decide what to do with it. Let's clean out this other bag that was on the um, kitchen 
what do you call it, uh, counter stool. So, yeah, that's a planner. She's an airplane planner. I really like it, but it's not for me. I just need a notebook. And so I'm going to clean up all of this stuff and put some of it back in my craft room um, that I'm not currently using and just keep what I need. I often will sometimes do crafts out here too. I have this little board um, that I use to write on, a writing tablet, I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, and sometimes the crafts just end up back in the basket. So I'm putting everything away. All these pens are going to go in my craft room and I believe that is coming up on another um, decluttering day. So I will tend to that when that day comes around. So I'm just putting it on my desk for now. I need to go through all of my pens and the desk and the craft room. Uh, shocker, got messy again. So here's the little board that I was talking about. So I'm just going to use that and put that under the table with my headphones. And see, that's what I was talking about. I need those kind of headphones. The other ones don't work in my ears. It don't, they fall out anyway. So, um, just clean up my campsite as my hubby calls it and I'm just having the tray and four pens my notebook and my headphones that's it for this week and remember you do not have to do this all at the same time you don't have to clean out your whole jewelry cabinet your whole dresser you can just do one drawer one shelf one cabinet one closet at a time we got this we can do this together until next time guys enjoy your day